Okay. Did you want it to come right up? Okay. So what you can see here is, I'll point at it, if you're not making the noise, because we're just talking. Um, so we've got a spring, okay, it's a slinky spring, and the, yes. um, attached to the end of the spring is a weight which has a magnet on it. So the weight and the magnet are inside that copper coil. So there's the equivalent of the weight, is the coil, okay? And this weight is hanging. And so if the ground moves, the, the base of the seismometer moves like that. Now, when you have a magnet and a coil moving, you know, relative to each other, you get an electric current. So the electric current is translated on the computer screen into a wiggly line. So the more movement there is, the bigger the wiggly line. If there's no movement, it's pretty flat. So these bumps here represent traffic from the street, or you walking in the room a little bit. But mainly, I think that was a truck going past, and that was a truck going past when I was setting it up. The little earthquakes are happening all the time, just from vehicles, just from people walking, anything like that. A railway train going along is going to shake the ground quite a bit. People at a rugby match, all screaming and jumping up and down, create earthquakes which are detectable in Auckland or Wellington by the seismometer. So when people, yeah, we can, we can make an earthquake in a minute. Let's do that. But just to make it quite a sec. Um, yeah, so, so the ground is always um, quivering a little bit. So when we want to listen to earthquakes with seismometers, we some, sometimes they're buried quite deeply in the ground so that the surface vibrations from traffic and stuff are not interfering with the earthquake vibrations. Sound good? Yep. Should we all come and stand next to it and see if we can pound the ground long enough to make an earthquake? Okay. Okay, so because this is not a professional quality um, seismometer, it's only an educational one, it's a bit slow on the uptake. It doesn't immediately show an earthquake. But I reckon if we all kind of thump the ground, jump up and down, whatever we do. You want to jump up there? Okay. Let's go. Let's come on, let's do it. One, two, three. Oh, look at that. There it is. in the night if there was an earthquake, we would be able to calculate the time it happened because this has got a time scale and these things I think are half an hour each line. So this thing has been set up for just over an hour when I set it up at the beginning. And there you go, earthquake. Excellent. Now do you want to do something? Yes.